Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. The other day, I did an installation of Arch Linux using the automated installer. And I had it automatically install the Cinnamon desktop, which by default is ugly and not themed. And at the end of the video, I just told the viewers, you the viewers, to watch one of my older videos to see how I like to theme the cinnamon desktop and make it look nice. Well, now I decided I should do a video on how to do it. So let's get to it. So this installation of Arch Linux with the cinnamon desktop, which I did with the automated Arch installer is very plain and bland. The first thing I'm gonna do is go into a terminal and I'm gonna download my GitLab repository. So I'm going to type in git clone http colon slash slash gitlab dot com slash artibus one slash mench git. And the reason why I'm doing this is because there's some things that I need in there to help install the Cinnamon desktop, for the theming. Now I'm going to CD into it. CD mench ls dash eight. And let's just clear the screen and get to the top. So this auto app right here, there are all my packages and software that I'd like to use are in there. So I'm going to download it. I'm going to type in period slash auto. Asking me for my password. I'm going to click on yes. And it's downloading. While it's doing that, I'm going to pause the video. That didn't take long at all. I paused the video, but it really only took a minute maybe a minute and a half now what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in ls a list the files again and i'm going to run this file run configs so i'm going to do period slash run i'm going to tab it and that's done now at, you know what at this point i'm just going to reboot let's reboot It's rebooting, it won't take too long. It only takes a second or so to reboot into Arch. Oh, this drive is encrypted. So I have to put my password in. It has to uncrypt the drive. Or decrypt it. Decrypt, uncrypt, I'm not sure what's the best way to say it. Now we're at the login manager. Now Qtile and the awesome window manager will be automatically configured the way I like them because my configuration files were in there. Were downloaded and installed. But the Cinnamon desktop, I always configure it manually. I don't have a configuration file for it. And that's the whole purpose of this video. I'm just going to click on the Cinnamon desktop and I'm going to type in my password. Now that I have all my files installed, it's going to be easier for me to theme Cinnamon the way I like it. The first thing I'm going to do is go into themes. I'm going to click on this. Add and remove programs. Installing and updating the themes. A dark dark. Uh, I already installed this before, but normally it's not installed by default. So it would have an arrow here and I'd have to click on the arrow and download it. Like you would here for one of these other ones. Then I go back to themes. Go here, click on Adara Dark, 
And here I'm going to go to the buttons and I'm going to click on Materia Dark. And for the icons, I'm going to click on Papyrus Dark. Ah, uh, no, Papyrus. And now I'm going to close this and let's see if it worked. Yes, now that's a lot nicer. Now also in my GitLab, when I downloaded my GitLab repository, it downloaded, I think, three wallpapers. So I'm going to go and add one of those wallpapers. They're going to go here and I'm going to change background. I'm going to click this on. Going to click on the plus sign. Going to go home. And there's three wallpapers here. I'm just going to click on this one. Let's click on this one. Let's open it. Oops. And let's close it. So there we are. We have some wallpaper now. Another thing I'm going to do is go into font. Oops. Did spell it right. Font selection. I'm going to change this to sans bold and change this to 12. And I'm going to close it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bottom bar here, right click it, click on applets. And I download the applets. Then the weather applet, I, I installed it before, but I'm going to reinstall it. So we, if you wanted to click on this one, you click on this arrow and install it. So normally the weather app won't be installed when you first install the cinnamon desktop. So I just click on the arrow and download it. Then you go to manage, highlight it again, and Click on the plus sign. And it's installing the weather app. So there's the weather app. You can click it on. You can go like this. Clear sky tells you sunrise, sunset, the winds, temperature, feels like. And you have your hourly weather. So that's the weather app. And I go into the weather app and I configure it. I changed this 48. I don't need 48 hours. I like to have 26. And I also turn on this minute precipitation forecast. I turn that on. And that's all I do for the weather app. Then, another thing I like to do is go into settings. I go into settings and Green saver, I always turn off. I toggle that off. Go back. I go down here into Power Manager. And I don't like my system powering down or going to sleep. So I'm going to turn that to Never. And I'm going to turn this to Ask. And I'm going to close this. So there's the menu. All my programs are installed. I have LibreOffice, um, NVIDIA, Deloitte, ClipGrab, MPV, Rhythmbox. All my apps are installed. Looks a little nicer, not so ugly. Oh, and I forgot to uh, fix the time. So with the clock, I'm going to click it on. Display settings. Always um, turn off this 24 hour clock and display the date. I close it and now we have the clock looks a lot nicer and we have date Sunday, March 26th and the time. Here's my temperature. So this is how I like to theme the cinnamon desktop. Looks nice, it looks beautiful. And it doesn't look like something from the 1990s. Now, of course, we can log out of there. So 
we can log into Qtile and it will be themed properly. Should be. Put my password in and Qtile is themed properly. I'm going to log out of there. I'm going to go into my awesome window manager. And that's themed properly as well. I'm going to log out of there. And I'm not going to stay in those window managers because this video was more about cinnamon. Log in there. Let's open up my file manager. It has a dark theme. There's mench folder. And that's how I theme the cinnamon desktop. In this video, I showed you how to download all my files from my GitLab repository and how I like to manually theme the cinnamon desktop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Linux Mitch.